Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to model the head, and then we're going to all we're going to have left after that is the neck to join the head to the body. So to get started with the head, there's a few different ways of doing this kind of head, but I'm just going to go with a box straight away, and then drag it out to roughly the size I want. So I'm going to put this material on it again, and just position it. I want it so somewhere like this. Now I'm going to take all these segments out of it because I don't want to start with that many and just line it up kind of roughly to match the reference again. And I'm going to convert this to an editable poly. And I'm just going to start to um, make some connections. So I'm going to put a connection here. up to there I think and I'm gonna put a connection in here as well so I'm just gonna start to move these into position where I think they should be so that'll go up there and this will go kind of halfway along there same with this and then this is just going to come in here to the chin. Now in my front view, what I'm going to do is put a connection down the middle and just delete this half of the head. So now I'm just going to start to drag all these in to hit the uh, reference. So this is going to come in to the bottom of the chin going to be the jaw bone. Now I want to make sure I'm positioning the right one. So this one is the side of the head. These three at the back here are uh, the back of the head. So they're going to come in quite a lot. And just kind of curve them out a bit. Just to keep the shape of the head going. Same with these front ones, these are going to come in quite a lot as well and create the front strip of the head that we want. So something like that maybe. So now I'm just going to add in a couple more connections. So I'm going to add in a connection here and just basically try to get a bit of a better shape going for our head. So something like there. I'm going to put a connection here as well. Do the same thing. Just keep shaping it out. So now I've got these three verts here, or these four verts. I'm going to deselect that inside one. Now my top view, I'm just going to kind of round this out a bit. Oh, I need to deselect that inside one as well. So all I'm going to do is start to round out the shape of the head a bit same with this front bit here. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit just to get this kind of curve going that we'd be looking for on the side of the head. And looking at this, this is probably going to come out as well to have that same curve on the top. Oh, okay, maybe it won't. I need to pull these back in a bit to kind of closer to the reference. I think what I've done is just brought these ones a bit too far out. So now they'll look a bit smoother. So move these back in, pull this one out a little bit. Just so we have that kind of shape on the top of the head still. And now I'm just going to go back into this view again and start adding a couple more connections. So this point here could maybe come down a bit. So that's the top of the head. What I'm going to do actually is pull all these up a little bit. Just to kind of round the top of the head a bit more. And then just pull it all down. And 
see we're not matching both views it's kind of off when I match it in the left it's off in the right or in the front I'm just going to stick with the front and kind of just get the general shape in the left view I'm going to apply another connection here and again just pull these out and just keep trying to get this shape here so this is going to start to come out and this one's going to match the side of the head something like that and let's see we need one more up here really to get this last bit of shape on the top of the head so just move them around a little bit and then I'm just let's see I'll pull them all out for now and maybe just pull this back one in a little bit as well just to keep this shape here so it's not too severe just double check everything as I'm going so you can see this back point here is out too far just gonna pull that in be a little more like that okay and now I'm gonna just start this bottom area so I'm going to bring this and do one connection and just start to position this as well. So move this out a little bit, move this out a little bit and move this only a tiny bit because I want this jaw to be pretty severe. So that's going to come in actually to create that kind of shape for the jaw this is probably going to come in as well a little bit all right so yeah like I was saying we're not going to be able to match it up in both views but look at that we might just match it up in this view kind of round out the jaw a little bit more than it is here kind of trying to keep the shape as much as I can but I mean there's going to be some points I just can't avoid changing I'm going to just pull all these in a little bit these are just the outside edge of the face I mean they want to be exactly in line with the front of the face because the front of the face isn't perfectly flat move all them around a little bit as well okay same with the back just kind of round it out very slightly I mean it does come in but it doesn't come in much at the start so something like that should be okay <coughs> um, so what are we looking at let's see we've got one six edges we're connecting down into this area here so we're going to use probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're going to use about ten edges to connect so we have what did i say six okay so we need another one and another two connections so what i'm going to do is just a connection here and just kind of space these out a little bit more let me turn on my edge constraints to do this in fact okay just spread those out a little bit to keep the topology fairly even and the top of his head is maybe coming up a little now I'm 
something like this. I'll just put all these up rather than just the middle one. Yeah, that's a bit better looking. Okay, so now what I need to do is in my top view, just get these new parts that I created. Just kind of round them out a little. And we've got this point here that looks a bit odd to me. Just going to pull it over. Okay, so now we have a fairly rounded head. And we just need one more connection. So I'm going to just put a connection here. And again, with my edge constraints on, I'm just going to move all this over just to spread it out a bit. I'm going to move all these over and then move the next set to the right over as well. So all these are going to come down. So turn on my edge constraints again and just slide these down a little bit. Now turn off my edge constraints again. Just kind of get this shape of the head a bit rounder. Okay, so now in my top view again, I'm just going to double check everything I just did. So, just going to pull them out a little bit. Maybe pull this out to there, put this out to here, and pull all these forward. So now we have this, and if we turn off our x-ray view, you can see we've got the rough shape of our head that we want. So if I put symmetry on this, and flip it this way, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to turn on my end result and just kind of position this a bit better. More like that. We can change any of this then later on anyway if we want to. If we feel like we've missed kind of some of the shape. Like I can see here now. I could do it maybe round this out a little bit more at the back as well. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And maybe this as well. Just round. Okay, so I'm going to leave this like this now, I think. Um, just double check how many edges I have now. So I've got, uh, let's see, I'm going to delete that symmetry again. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I've only got eight edges, so I actually need to make a couple of more connections I think. So let's see, eight edges there. And I am gonna be connecting to three. I am gonna be connecting to ten, yes, yeah, so I do need to put in these couple more edge loops. So to do this, once again I'm just gonna have to move everything over a bit. So I'm gonna just pull this forward a little bit. Then with my edge constraints on again, I'm going to pull this down here a bit. Put in one more connection here. And I'm going to turn off my show end result. If you have end result on and you're in vertex mode, you can't actually see your vertices. So just make sure I have that off when I'm doing this. Just round all this out a little bit again. Now I need one more loop still. So I'm just 
going to double check what I did here on the top. Make sure it's nicely rounded and you can see it's not. So I'm just going to pull these out a little bit and then pull these out a little bit. All right, now in my left view, I'm just going to do the exact same thing again. Pull this over a bit. I'm going to pull these out a little bit more. Because I think I'm getting a bit too tight on the top of the head there. Then when my edge constraint's on again, just pull this slot over a little bit. Turn off my edge constraints. And just spread this out a little bit again. And now put this very last connection in that we need. make sure in our top view again that we have got this the shape we want so that's going to come out to there I'm just going to pull this in fact I'm going to round out all the top of this again so this is going to come over to there a bit and then just kind of shape the top of the head a little bit better again at the start, do the same like this, we're going to just check all our views to make sure we haven't gone too far off, looks pretty okay to me, and we've got a pretty rounded head, okay, yeah, so now we have enough polygons on the bottom. We should have 10 edges here when I went, just deleting those polygons. And yeah, 10 edges. So we've got the right amount of edges that we need now. I'm just going to pull this in a little bit to kind of round out their whole shape a bit. <coughs> okay, so now we've got our head done pretty much. We're gonna we're not gonna do the underneath of the jaw. Like this bit I just deleted. What we're gonna do is connect our neck to that and then we'll build it from there so in the next video i'm going to go through modeling the um, neck and connecting that and then we'll be fully done with our character so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video